Hello Dinar enthusiasts. Welcome to our channel, your premier source for the latest and most authentic news about the Iraqi dinar. If you're a dinar holder or someone interested in the dynamics of Iraq's currency, you're in the right place. Our dedicated team works tirelessly to bring you up-to-date information, expert analyses, and insider insights that you won't find anywhere else. Stay informed about significant developments, economic trends, and policy changes affecting the dinar. Today, we're diving deep into the insights shared by Nushound guru Militia Man, focusing on the fascinating topic of the Iraqi dinar revaluation. Specifically, we're going to explore why oil pumping hasn't started yet and how it ties into the broader context of revaluation. So let's break this down step by step. First and foremost, we need to understand the critical link between oil production and the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. Iraq, being one of the world's largest oil producers, has its economy heavily dependent on oil exports. The revenues from oil are vital for the country's financial stability and growth. However, despite having significant oil reserves and the potential for substantial income, the oil hasn't started pumping at full capacity yet. This brings us to the question that Militia Man poses. Why is that? The answer lies in the intricate relationship between oil revenues and currency valuation. For Iraq to fully leverage its oil wealth, the value of its currency needs to reflect its true economic potential. Currently, the Iraqi dinar is undervalued, which affects the country's ability to trade and invest on a global scale. A revaluation would adjust the dinar's value to better reflect Iraq's economic reality, making international transactions smoother and more profitable. Militiaman suggests that the delay in oil pumping might be intentional, linked directly to the impending revaluation. The rationale here is that by revaluing the dinar first, Iraq can ensure that the revenues generated from oil exports are maximized. Essentially, it's about setting the stage to get the most out of their resources. If Iraq starts pumping oil now with an undervalued dinar, the income generated would not be as impactful as it could be post-revaluation. Now, let's delve into the complexity of this revaluation process. Militiaman describes it as the most complex revaluation situation in the history of mankind, and there's a lot of truth to that. Revaluing a currency is not just a matter of changing numbers. It's an intricate process involving multiple facets of the economy, international relations, and market dynamics. One key aspect of this complexity is the need for internal and external stability. Internally, Iraq must ensure that its banking and financial systems are robust enough to handle the changes that come with revaluation. This involves updating financial infrastructure, implementing new regulatory frameworks, and ensuring that there is adequate liquidity in the system to support the new currency value. Externally, Iraq must navigate the geopolitical landscape, securing support and cooperation from international bodies such as the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the World Bank. These organizations play a crucial role in providing the necessary oversight and support to ensure that the revaluation process is smooth and sustainable. Moreover, there's the matter of market perception and investor confidence. The revaluation needs to be communicated effectively to both domestic and international audiences to avoid panic and speculation, which could destabilize the economy. This requires a well-coordinated effort between the Iraqi government, financial institutions, and global partners. Another layer of complexity is the potential impact on Iraq's regional relationships. The Middle East is a geopolitically sensitive area, and any significant economic move by Iraq can have ripple effects throughout the region. Thus, Iraq must carefully consider how revaluation might affect its neighbors and allies and ensure that it fosters cooperation rather than conflict. In conclusion, while the delay in oil pumping might seem like a setback, it could very well be a strategic move by Iraq to ensure that they are fully prepared for the revaluation of their currency. By aligning oil production with a stronger, more accurately valued dinar, Iraq stands to gain significantly more from its natural resources. The complexity of this process cannot be overstated, but with careful planning and execution, it could mark a turning point in Iraq's economic history. Stay tuned for more updates and insights as we continue to follow this intriguing story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay notified of our latest content. Thanks for watching.